All right, it is five o'clock, so I will call to order this meeting of the Finance and Personnel Committee. Uh, we'll begin with the roll. Alder Ackley? Here. Alder Flecky Paneski? Here. Alder Perella? Here. Uh, Alder Feldy is excused. Mitchell's here. That makes a quorum. Will you all please stand and join me in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. All right, then barring any objection, we'll jump over item number four, the introduction of committee members and staff. Other than I have not yet welcomed our new HR director. So welcome, Adam. And we will move on to item number five, which is approval of the minutes from our January 23rd meeting. I move to approve the minutes. All right, we have a motion and a second on the minutes. Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. The ayes have it. The motion passes. With that, we are on to the main event. Item number six, general ordinance number 20 of 22-23. An ordinance reestablishing the salaries of election officials. Thank you, Chair. I am here today to advocate for a salary increase for our city's election workers. The last increase that they received was in 2018, and the one before that was in 2008. And there's a lot of things that have happened in the last few years that would warrant an increase. Um, last year when I was working on the budget, I did contact several alders about coming to you with an ordinance for an increase. And so there is money budgeted into the election budget for the amounts that are requested on this ordinance for the 2023 year. At that time, what I used was information that I had from different municipalities in Sheboygan County to come up with that pay scale. If you can see in your packet, there is an updated um, survey that I conducted in the last several weeks and it puts us actually at the lower end of what I had originally put into this ordinance. Um, our election workers are essential. They are amazing. Um, they carry out what we cannot do in our office of four at 10 polling locations um, every year. And we have very, we have a lot of talented people, but it's really hard to recruit new people and to retain, especially our chairpersons who do so much more work than just on election day. They call our election workers, they schedule their training, they are responsible for picking up the absentee ballots in the morning, they're responsible for putting all the ballots and all the paperwork in their cars at the end of the night and bringing them to us. Um, they participate in our audits and the recount and just all kinds of things. So um, I'm here to answer questions, but I'm advocating that this ordinance go through and that if we also want to add a whereas clause for next year when I'm working on the budget to even do another increase, that would be amazing. Thank you. Do we have... Uh Questions, comments from the committee? Alder Flicky Paneski? I would certainly be in favor of a raise. Two raises in two decades is not too much to think about. Um, I would choose that we, since you've budgeted for the dollar amount that's included in this particular ordinance, that we would recommend this ordinance, mm -hmm. and then subsequently you could present an increase however that gets done. So I would move that we recommend this to council. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? We have a motion and a second. Further discussion, Elder Perella? Yeah, so I'm completely in favor. Um, I was just wondering if you could for next time to or when for when it goes to the common council to come up with an estimate of the actual increase estimate. So for this, what is written into this ordinance for a, an election? Is that what you're asking yes. for? Yes. So, so it's about $3,000 okay. 
for like an April, that's what I, I looked at April and August of last year if we would have incorporated this amount and it's about 3,000 for an election. Um, November, of course, we employ many more election officials so it would probably more be towards 5,000. Um, one thing I would ask is that our budgets, we'll start working on them okay. in a few months. So if you wanted me to come back in a few months before that budget cycle, um, I'm willing to do that. Otherwise, I mean, that's where I think it, if I wait till the end of the year, then the money's not in there, mm -hmm. so. Right. And, and finally, I have a follow-up. The and you didn't you didn't ask to increase the ten dollars for the training or the special nursing home deputies. Is that the reason for that? Because that that's not. Uh, it, that's a minimal amount. I'm I'm willing to do, look at that as well. But that's we pay about ten dollars an hour for that, so that it's mm -hmm. not it's a small amount of mm -hmm. time that they spend doing that. But right, right. I thought it was more for. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion on this one? And I guess I'll just give my two cents that this, seeing the uh, data from municipalities around us compared to what we are compensating our election workers with was a bit surprising. Mm -hmm. I, they play a vital role. Mm -hmm. Every election that we have, we absolutely need to make sure that we are not let's say falling so far behind on this one. I, I'm perfectly happy to accept with the currently budget increases, budgeted increases that we have in the current resolution, but I would encourage the conversation to be ongoing even in council once this gets referred back, and if not, for sure, as soon as we start on the next year's budget. If there's no other discussion, we already have a motion and a second. I move to recommend to the common council. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. The ayes have it. And the motion passes. Our next meeting date will be on February 27th, 2023. And with that, we have exhausted our agenda and are looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. We have a motion and a second. Would anybody like to discuss adjournment? <laughs> no. We have a few minutes. Uh, seeing none. Oh, yeah. that is a good point. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. The ayes have it. The motion passes. We are adjourned. Thank you. It would be the five minutes.